Well, it is the first Monday of Black History Month and all month long, we're going to be celebrating those contributions that African Americans have made to American history. So this morning, we're highlighting two brave individuals with ties to the First Coast in this week's edition of Monday Motivation. Born in the River City, American author, educator, lawyer, songwriter, and civil rights activist, James Weldon Johnson. He's best remembered for his leadership of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, better known as the NAACP. He wrote his own poetry and supported work by others. Now he even has a school named after him. But let's not forget, he's the writer of the Negro National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing. I feel the blues are coming. I wonder what the blues will bring. Known for integrating poetry with the cadence of jazz, activist and Harlem Renaissance leader Langston Hughes, he would use his poetry to portray the lives of working class blacks in America. During his lifetime, he wrote over 60 books and famous poems, and many give Hughes credit for infusing socialism and humor with art. You can find his exhibits in museums across the nation, including our very own Ritz Theater in downtown Jacks. So this year marks the 120th anniversary of the Negro National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing. But throughout the month of February, it's important to always keep in mind, history will never die as long as we keep it alive. Mike Pringley standing by for the check of your morning forecast. Let's get over to him right now.